Good morning. Uh, two evenings ago, I was at the Carlo Mass. That's where all the Irish priests get together and celebrate. It was their 70th. And um, the main celebrant, one of the things he said about faith, he says, faith was seeing things through the eyes of Jesus. He said that was his favorite definition of faith, seeing things through the eyes of Jesus. And that's what today's readings are about. They're about faith. All right, in our gospel, we have the curing of the leper. And he shows us what faith looks like. He's obviously suffered a lot in his life with the disease. And uh, maybe he's heard about Jesus. And uh, maybe he's even seen a miracle. And so his faith is bolstered. And when Jesus comes by and he sees him, he pleads with Jesus to heal him. He falls to his knees and he begs Jesus to heal him. And, and Jesus does, Jesus cures him. And so at that point, his faith is probably as high as it could ever be. You know, his faith in Jesus, his trust in Jesus at that point. But faith is a journey and it can often begin with some miracle in our lives or some spiritual experience that we have that just, our, our faith just kind of blows up out of our chest. We get excited about it, but with time, troubles and difficulties come into our life, sometimes that faith can waver. It can get our trust in God fades, and it's a struggle to hang on to that faith. And we see that in our first reading and our, our psalm that we had today. Actually, the first reading is, most of it is Psalm 95, and our psalm is Psalm 95. And it's a story of the Israelites in the desert. And uh, so they start off with these incredible miracles. You see these 10, you know, plagues that God sends on the Egyptians and eventually the Egyptians release them so they can go and back to Israel. And uh, they see the opening up of the Red Sea so they can cross and get back uh, to Israel. And then as they're finishing cross in the Red Sea, they see the Red Sea close in on the Egyptian army that's pursuing them. Incredible miracles. And then they get to the other side. They don't have anything. They just left in a hurry. And then they have this bread that rains down from heaven to feed them. And then leading them through the desert, there's this column of smoke during the daytime and, or a, a column of light at night that God's leading them through the unbelievable miracles but they get tired in the desert. They're 40 years in the desert. They argue with Moses. They argue bitterly with Moses. They get to the point where they're ready to stone Moses. They're, they're exhausted, they're fatigued, they're hungry, they're thirsty, and they've lost their trust in God. They've lost their faith. And we too are on a journey. And our journey starts off maybe like with incredible faith, something that happened to us, a strong faith like that leper had in our, in our gospel reading. But as time goes on and we go through the struggles of our life, it's kind of like we're like the Israelites in the desert, you know? This is getting long, I'm getting fatigued, I'm getting tired. So the challenge is to hold on to our faith. And I think the point of that Psalm 95, which we actually heard twice, is not to rebel, to hold on to our faith, to keep that trust in God, to keep that faith in God, and to encourage all those around us to keep the faith as well.